So here's my video setup. You can see I've got the MC6000 right there. I use a uh, tractor control F1 to help control <clears throat> a lot of the functions. And then up here, Virtual DJ 2018 running uh, with my preferred skin. So uh, the important thing here to see is that the microphone is plugged in to number one and the microphone button is on and uh, the level is actually up pretty high. I use a dynamic um, uh, Shure SM58 and I find that uh, the preamp on the uh, Denim MC6000 uh, isn't super great. It doesn't have a whole heap of power for this microphone. So unfortunately my gain is up pretty high, but the levels are absolutely fine, which you'll see in a second. So here's the Denim MC6000. Uh, my setup is the MC6000, a MacBook Pro, and uh, Virtual DJ 2018-2020. I'm using both versions depending upon what I'm trying to do. But let's look at the settings here at the back and just go over them to explain them a little bit. You're gonna need to ha set this particular switch according to whatever operating system you're using. So whether it's PC or Mac, obviously I'm on a Mac, so mine's pushed to the right. Uh, the next button, PC mix or internal mix, in terms of mixing mode, um, refers to whether you're having the mixing done in the PC itself or whether the mixing is being done internally using the actual uh, mixer. If you're doing it as a PC mix, it doesn't matter whether it's a PC or a Mac, this just refers to computer, it would be more accurately labeled computer mix, that means that you're using the controller, especially the faders, as a, um, uh, a MIDI mixer. It's just MIDI commands are being sent back up to the uh, computer in order to affect your mix, and all the audio is actually uh, being mixed in the computer. Then you have the output source here, which you can set to channels one to four or to record out mic. Now, what this is really talking about is that uh, the Denon MC6000 only has four channels of audio available for the USB bus. So four channels are coming, uh, or two stereo, two stereo pairs, four channels are coming from the computer into the USB and four channels are actually, uh, or two stereo pairs are also going out of the USB back into the computer. So at this point, it's also saying to you, hey, you've got a choice between um, just taking the music, which is channels one through four, the two stereo pairs, or if you want, you can also include the microphone and you have the microphone section out here. And by pressing this to the right, where the microphone uh, selection is, it means that the output from the microphone is now joining your outputs into the uh, into the software and back to the computer. And we're gonna now just take a look at how to configure the software Virtual DJ uh, 2018 slash 20 to ensure that your microphone is getting through. We're just gonna to go to the configuration page. Um, you can see down here that I've got this I show you audio capture. You, you won't need to worry about that. Um, that's because I use this as part of my um, uh, Twitch streaming setup so that it captures everything uh, and sends it to uh, OBS, which is what I use to get onto the internet currently. Um, but the most important thing here is to look at this, the microphone setup. So you click microphone and we'll give you this additional input here. So you just make sure that it's on mic, select the DM6000 and channels three and four is uh, what you want to go for. Remember, we've already selected on the back of the mixer the fact that the internal microphone is going to be included, so that's what you want. Now what you can do is you can go to the uh, master and um, turn on the microphone, and if I pick up that SM58 and speak into it, you can see I get quite a healthy level, which is fine. And um, if I turn off the button at um, on the actual uh, Denon mixer, it actually stops the input of um, uh, audio from the microphone uh, section. And then you turn it back on and of course it will come in. As long as you're seeing it on the right hand side, 
uh, which means it's coming into the computer and you're seeing it on the left hand side which means it's going out of the computer into whatever program you're sending it to you are good to go and that's it for this particular um, setup I'll just leave you with this screenshot again of how I'm getting how my audio is configured. once again just ignore this very bottom line because uh, that's what I'm using for Twitch if you've got any questions or any comments please put them in the comments section below all the best